Ugh. Oh my goodness. Look at this giant box, you guys. Look at this gigantic box right here. That can mean only one thing. It means we gotta get rid of some of these handhelds here. So leave it, leave it, leave a comment down below which one should go first. Leave a comment down below which handheld should we get rid of first to make room um, for this new device we have to unbox today. I saw someone in the comments said the AYN Loki Max. I really I really like this device, you guys, but oh well, you guys are in charge. we got to get rid of the, the Loki Max. Somebody in the comments said get rid of the A1 Pro, but that's my favorite device right now, so I'm going to leave that until a little bit later. Um, I heard somebody in the comments saying get rid of the a 2S. If you're that person, then... I don't know what to say to you. And your 2S is a great device, but we need to make room, so let's get rid of it. So what's next, you guys? Leave a comment down below, which is next. Somebody said, get rid of the GBD Win 4. Oh my goodness. One of the best small devices of our generation. I mean, you're in charge, so we gotta get rid of the GPD Win 4. Someone said, put it back? Okay, <laughs> we'll put it back. Somebody said, get rid of the One X Player 2. Oh my goodness, the original OG detachable controller handheld, okay? I don't know, I mean, I, I, I said to see it go, but you guys are in charge. My devices are piling up, they're dropping like flies. What's gotta go next? Somebody said I really gotta get rid of the Win 4. All right, you guys are in charge, I gotta get rid of the Win 4. What's gonna go next? What's gonna go next? Somebody said I gotta get rid of the A1 Pro. Oh my goodness. It's my favorite device, you guys, right now. But anyway, you guys are in charge. I'll get rid of the A1 Pro. Okay, so now we have the three big dogs. The three big dogs in the room right now. We got the Lenovo Legion Go. We got the Steam Deck OLED Limited Edition at that. Who would give up that? And the ROG Ally. No, I'm gonna keep these, I'm gonna keep these devices up here just for now, just so I don't upset anybody. I'm gonna keep these devices up here just so nobody is too upset. But let me just make room. Let me make room here for this new device we have in the studio today. And this may be my most anticipated device of the entire year. So here we have it. Here we have it. I think this is what I think it is. Hopefully it is because I'll be really embarrassing if I did all this work and it wasn't what I thought it was. But this should be the new ANU Kun. I hope that's how you pronounce it. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. Ugh, it's a big box. It's a big box. So make room, make space, make space. Okay, we have some goodies in here. Oh, okay. Okay. We have, um, what is this? Oh, a screen protector. Put that to the side. We have some, some dope stickers here. ANU Next here. ANU Retro Power. Oh, that's actually dope. I think it's like all the previous ANU devices. Some other, um, inspired stickers there. Put that to the side. That is good to see. What else? We have a uh, case in here. This case is um, pretty nice, uh, pretty good quality. It reminds me of the Neo 2S case I got. So we put that to the side as well. And in here, we finally have it. We finally have the device itself. All right, check that out. Box within a box. Let's get this one open. All right, let's get this big box inside of the big box open. The unboxing experience is very premium here. I guess, you know, that's what you pay for when you buy this device. So it has a pull tab here. Pull that open. Okay, check that out, you guys. I run out of space here on my table, but check this out. In inside of here is another box. <laughs> so pull that out. Set this other, other box to the side. And then you get this wooden box, ANU Kun, as you can see. Check out the details on this. Check that out, check out the details. This wooden and gold um, details here. I'm trying to preserve this box just so that um, it's like a collectible. Okay, we got that off and now, oh, slide this out. Oh, that's actually, that is premium, you guys. Slide this out. 
slide that out that is amazing we have some stuff in here um let's see what this is oh my goodness look at this look at this you guys this is like premium wandering boundless and free i think coon means whale so um yeah so there's a whole like <laughs> a letter here explaining that so that's gonna be good you know keep that it's gonna be good to have read that over as you're reminiscing of times past uh we have some more stuff in here what else do we have in here and this is uh adapters so this is going to be adapters for other regions no i think this is definitely the charger i'm interested to see uh, how much how many watts we get with our charger so it's usually like a 100 watt charger uh yeah this is actually a very large charger here it is a 100 watt 100 watt charger with four USB ports on it. So two USB-C, two USB-A. That is actually very good to see. So we're definitely gonna use that um, for multiple devices, it looks like. So that's good to see. Um, and then I think we should have a USB cable in here. Okay, so it's a pretty decent cable. I wish it was braided, but it does seem like a thick, you know, um, high quality cable. Um, I have too many cables at this point that I don't really need this one. So we'll just put that back in. And I think, there it is, you guys. Oh, 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 oh. Put that back, put that back. Okay, do that again. Here it is, you guys. The Air Neo Kuhn. Oh my goodness. Oh, this thing feels good, you guys. Okay, okay, let's put let's set this to the side. Let's set this to the side. Let's um clear up our space and dive into this device here okay here it is get closer you guys get closer here it is the air neo coon this thing feel oh my goodness this thing feels good you guys it's it it feels so dense it actually it does feel pretty beefy pretty heavy um comparing that to the uh the steam deck the steam deck feels so light in comparison the steam deck feels like half the weight i know it's like an exaggeration but the steam deck like feels like half the weight of this and Kuhn here um let's just come back out a little bit uh so we can see that next to the legion go here the size isn't much different um between the legion go and the coon here so the size isn't much different um but yeah the coon feels even heavier than the uh the legion go it feels more dense it feels more more premium just like the finish of it and the way it feels like in your hands is much more dense um let's look at it next to the rog ally here not much larger but it has a much larger uh, feel in your hands um but yeah this thing feels it feels hefty it feels like your hands are full and it feels good so let's get this off the screen here let's power it up for the first time it is a um, power button with a fingerprint sensor on top here so let's hold that down see if we have any juice we do have life Let's see, let's see. We got the Air Neo logo there. And let's see you guys. Let's see where it come to life. You guys, this thing feels good. Oh, the D-pad. It's kind of weird, it's like, like a weird floating style D-pad. But it does feel good. We're gonna definitely have to test that with some games. It feels good. The joysticks are unmatched. The joysticks, I would have to say the joysticks are the best on any handheld right now it's like full full size joysticks they're not like the small ones you get on the other handhelds full size caps as well so that's going to be like xbox size joysticks um triggers feel great um i like that uh the range of motion as well as the feel it gets when you let it go it has a good rebound um okay lb and rb i wish I had a little bit more presence I'm, I'm very particular when it comes to buttons i wish my lb and rb had a little bit more either like click or okay 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 no need to interrupt anyway i wish i had a little bit more like tactile feedback on the rb lb but um it does uh, still feel very good here Let's see, let's see all, all of our buttons, our A, B, X, Y. 
that all feels good these track pads it has a nice vibration on the track pad here so that's um that's good to see here nice vibration um yeah let's check out the buttons on the back we have four buttons on the back here so one two three four and also a stand so we're gonna have a stand on the back let's stand that up it's not as good as the um the legion go by any means but it does still get the job done i wish more handouts had a um a standard the stand is this feels like metal yeah the stand is metal so stand is metal, so that's good to see. Uh, SD card is here in the back under the stand, similar to the original Nintendo Switch. So that's good to see. This, yeah, this thing feels good in the hands, you guys. It, it feels like premium. It feels hefty. Like we're gonna really have to dive into this thing and see what it's all about. Okay, so the uh, the extra buttons on the top have a good click that I would like to see when the um the lb and rb it's like these extra buttons you get on the top have a good click to them um so let me just set this thing up and come back to you guys and talk a little bit more about this device here that i said is my most anticipated for the year let me set it up and i'll come right back yo what's up you guys so i have the a and kun set up now and before I let you guys get out of here, I just wanted to do some some weight comparisons between some other devices, just so you can get a sense of just how dense and how beefy this device is. So it's around 955 grams. Um, so let's just see how it compares to some of the other handhelds uh, we have right now. So let's make this the zero weight. So now it's gonna tell us the difference in weight between some of the devices. So let's check out the Steam Deck um, OLED Limited Edition. This is 334 grams lighter. So that's a, a good one third. Uh, let's check out the ROG Ally. The ROG Ally is 336 grams lighter. Now let's check out the the big boy on the block, the Lenovo Legion Go. It's pretty close in weight, but it's still not as heavy as the A N E O Kun. This is 96 grams or 94 grams lighter than the A N E O Kun. And now let's check out one more uh, heavy device here, the One X Player Two is 99 grams lighter than the Aeneo Kuhn. And the GPD Win 4 is going to be 345 grams lighter than the Aeneo Kuhn. So you can get a sense of the difference in size when you just um, look at these devices here. So yes, the Aeneo Kuhn is definitely a, a beefy, a beefy device here as you can see weighing in at around 954 955 grams so it definitely is much heavier um, than these other devices that are around in the 600s every other device um, is around a normal device i would say is around 600 grams is around a normal um, device uh, range then the bigger devices are going to be in the seven eight hundred gram range, like you see the um, Legion Go is eight hundred and fifty nine grams, but nothing on the market right now compares to the heft that is the nine hundred and fifty four or fifty five grams of the A N E O Kun. So yeah, here you have it, you guys. Uh, then I let you guys go. We're gonna do. We should do a lot more tests with this device here because, like I said, it is a, a very hefty device, but it feels good in the hands. Uh, we're gonna do all the tests. You guys already know. We're gonna do all of the um, the benchmarks. We're gonna put this thing to the test versus um, some other devices on the market here. So I'm excited because this device here is my most anticipated device of this year. Slimly for the fact that it has so many um, great features like the battery being 75 watt hours, um, the big 1600p display, um, it's just an amazing device with all of the features that it has, all of the ports, um, the RAM, the storage. It's just a device that um, 
that makes me very excited and, and I'm, I'm glad that it's finally here but we are going to put it to the test now the question is would i recommend a device like this it's hard to recommend because there's so many other great devices on the market right now that are much less and much more available um to put it simply um this device is going to uh cost you pretty much like one and a half or two of these devices depending on which um one you get and you're not going to get two times the performance of course but it really is up to you i probably would have a hard time recommending it to somebody as their first device but if you're really interested in these features then it is something that may be intriguing for you for someone like myself i am very interested in this device and i'm not really you know upset um by you know how much it cost uh, but that's just me anyway i'm just a really average dude let's check out that case before you guys go let's put it in there we're gonna get you guys out of here stop wasting time and you know let you guys get on your way but we're gonna stay tuned for more um videos uh with this device here the case is actually very high quality i must say so i do like the case here so here it is the case is great, has a compartment in there. So yeah, here is the ANEO Kun in all its glory. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.